Now, I know you've been creating monuments, you've been working on monuments, and you worked really hard last time, and you came up with some really cool ideas. So now, you've got your ideas, and you've probably at least got three or four decent ideas, and you can share these ideas with each other, because today, we are going to build real monuments. So what you are going to do is, you can build them in paper if you really want, I guess, but they've got to be good in graph paper. Or, you could go to our friend Tinkercad. That's right, Tinkercad's awesome. And you can use it as almost like an architecture application. So, if you look, I made a really terrible monument to Neil Armstrong. So I'm gonna go to Tinkercad and I'm gonna log in. And I'm gonna go to Tinker This for my design, just to show you how bad it is and how great yours is gonna look. So I made this monument to Neil Armstrong. And it's probably supposed to be like a dude in a rocket ship. It, ugh, look at how bad that is. I don't even know where these things are. Mr. Bobcats actually. So it's supposed to be like a statue of a rocket and it's like a city park. But really, it's just, it's just bad. Shameful, really. Yours, luckily, is going to be much better than mine. I don't even think I'm lined up there. No, not at all. So, anyways. Hopefully yours doesn't look like this. Ooh, see, it kind of looks like a rocket ship. I don't know, maybe not. Or a wizard monument. Whatever, you get the point. Now, if you want to make it better, and we should all want to make this better, one of the things you can do is go to Thingiverse. T-H-I-N-G-I-V-E-R-S-E dot com. And you remember this before, this is where you get cool 3D printed designs. So I can look for rocket ship, and I am going to, ooh, now we are talking. This one, let's do this one. So I'm going to get this rocket ship. Oh man, that was pretty cool. I'm going to download that file, and when I download it, it saves it down there, and it zips it for me. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go show in Finder. And it should pull it up in Finder. And it's a zip file. So I'm going to double click the zip file, which means it unzips it and it shows me there's a rocket ship. And I can double click on it and then there's a file. Hold rockets. And if I've got that up, I can just go back to my Tinkercad. And I should be able to just drag that design right in there and it should import it at some point let's get rid of this just shameful design awful i think it's coming let's drag it hold rocket and you click it and you drag it in and it should import it. Now it might take a while because it's a really fancy design. And then I can add that to it. I don't know if it's even going to happen. But it should. Let's use file. desktop. Oh my gosh, this take it forever. So you get an idea. And maybe you don't want to do a rocket ship, so it'll take a while to download. But you can do all kinds of cool stuff in Thingiverse. It doesn't just have to be the rocket ship. I could do Neil Armstrong. Oh look, there's a bust of him that I could download. There's his foot. There's a print of his foot. Oh my gosh, there's a spaceman. I could download any of these things and I could put it in my monument to make it cool. I could also add some stuff to my monument like a park bench. 
Oh my gosh, that'd be perfect. So I download that and I could throw it in here and then it no longer looks awful. It would look really cool. Now, when you're done with this, you probably want to give it a good name. So mine might say Neil Armstrong Monument. And you'd want to take a screenshot of it and you can share that screenshot with me or you can just send me an email and say, hey, here's the park I worked on. Now what's cool and what makes this collaborative is you can then share this with some of your partners in class. Hey, what do you think of this? Do you like it? Should I change this? What should I do? This is this monument I made to Neil Armstrong. It's like if I showed this, somebody might look at it and say, well, Mr. Bycraft, uh, I like that it's a park, but there's nothing really there. So it's not really that good. Maybe you could make it bigger. And you know, the grass is green. I could import some of those park benches. Maybe that's like a hill. Ooh, that looks nice. Change the color. So you're almost using this as like an architecture software, right? Um, which I think is kind of cool. And it's not really a thing Tinkercad was designed to. Like, look, it's like a hill. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but you get the idea. So I think that'll be pretty fun. Uh, sorry that I'm not going to be there for this, but I think it'll be a cool assignment for you guys. So this will be like your blueprint, and that'll be that. All right, have a good day. Be good for the sub. Now I'm going to stop.